Welcome to another episode of What's Cooking. Join me as I travel the country, learning the tips, tricks, and stories behind the recipes and home cooks that make up the world's number one food site, allrecipes.com. This past summer, I headed to France to visit my good friends Philippe and Gerard and enjoy a wonderful World War II memorial for the 314th Infantry Regiment, 79th Infantry Division, and for my grandfather who died while fighting in World War II. While I was there, I also had the distinct pleasure of stopping at Marguerite's Cooking School in Paris, where Rebecca Lee and Clementine Fouché showed me how to make these delicious raspberry tartlets. Proving what a small world it is, the owner and founder of Marguerite's Cooking School, Clementine's mother Muriel, lives in our own backyard, across the lake in Bellevue, Washington. I promised that once I was back home, I'd stop in to pay a visit, and that's where we find ourselves today. This is what's cooking. We're here in the kitchen of Muriel Fouché, halfway around the world from her cooking school back in the wonderful Paris. And why don't you tell us what we're going to be making here today? So today we'll be making chicken tarragon blanquette. So it's a dish that is coming from um, a more traditional French recipe that is veal blanquette. Okay. But that is a dish that uh, I had bad memories from my childhood because I didn't like it. So when I did grow older, I decided to make it to my own taste. So a little different, a little lighter, a little more fun and with a different meat, chicken. So we'll see how it is made today. All right. So the first thing is to prepare um, vegetable stock. Start with six cups of water, then add a glass of white wine, parsley, an onion stuffed with a clove, thyme, garlic, celery, and some salt and pepper. So now we're just waiting for this to boil? Exactly. So what we can do in the meantime, uh, here we do have um, um, button mushrooms, Paris mushrooms in okay. France, we call them. Trim off the stems and then cut the heads in half. The water is boiling. Yep, it's ready. So we can now throw in the chicken. How far so back can I throw it has been <laughs> Not too far. <laughs> then add peeled carrots to the stock before covering it and letting it boil for 20 minutes. Meanwhile, place the mushrooms in a pan with some melted butter. And now we're not going to do anything with them. Oh, okay. We just let them sit for a short time so they can take some color. I love to cook with my family, I love to cook with my husband, but my husband would be there, he would be stirring. That's a very manly thing to do, stir mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Don't stir, please, mm -hmm. please. <laughs> all right. Okay, so we let those mushrooms sit in the butter so they can take some color. Because if you start stirring from the beginning, they will never take the color. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. Once they start to brown, then you can stir them around until they brown on all sides. Once they're off the heat, season them with a little salt and pepper. I'm welcoming you back to the BBC. Now you're going to fish for the, the chicken, please. Never done chicken. Yeah, fishing. exactly. Fish for chicken, please. There's one more in there somewhere. somewhere. Excellent. Heat some butter in a Dutch oven or a deep frying pan. Then, after dredging the chicken in flour, lay its skin down and cook until the skin is crispy. Then turn the chicken over and cook the underside for a couple of minutes. Next, add the stock to the chicken until half of the chicken is covered. Then cover and cook for an additional 10 minutes. So now we just wait and get hungrier and hungrier and hungrier. Do you want a glass of wine? Uh, sure, we do a glass okay. of wine. It's only uh, you know, 10.30 in the morning, we're good. Now we wait. Oh, cheers. cheers. And now we need 10 more minutes with this time the mushrooms and the carrots inside. Okay. Okay, perfect. Ready to make the sauce. Uh -huh. So, the first ingredient in the sauce is the French staple creme fraiche. So crème fraîche is not that easy to find here in Washington State. You can find some, but the best way is to make it yourself. Make it yourself. So, are there any other substitutes you could use instead of crème fraîche? If the spot? heaviest heavy whipping cream you can find will okay. work. Okay. Yeah, but you want something fat. Okay. okay. Just mix together the crème fraîche with an egg yolk, then add in some lemon juice followed by chopped tarragon. So our sauce is ready to be added to the to the chicken sauce whenever 
Chinese. timer goes. We could also serve some rice with that if mm -hmm. um, you want. And let me find some of the happy mushrooms. Uh, and look at how tender this very chicken tender. is. Mm. Thank you very much. I will be making this one again. There you have it, another great week, another great cook, another kitchen. Join us again next week for another episode of What's Cooking. Cross your fingers, keep on wishing that I'll